We're about to take you on a wild ride through St. Thomas, from soaring high above the island to lounging on a secret beach. We're here visiting for a day on the carnival celebration, but this isn't our first time exploring the island. In fact, we used to dock here every other week as cruise ship workers. We know all the insider tips and tricks to make the most of one day here, so let's get exploring. Welcome, Welcome to St. Thomas. St. Thomas is a popular cruise ship destination known for its breathtaking natural beauty and crystal clear waters. With an area of just 32 square miles, St. Thomas is a small but mighty island that offers a wealth of activities and attractions for visitors to explore, from hiking and snorkeling to shopping and sampling delicious cuisine. For those who love the beach, St. Thomas boasts over 40 pristine beaches, each with its own unique charm and personality. History buffs will also appreciate the island's rich heritage, which includes being a former pirate hideout and home to the second oldest synagogue in the Western Hemisphere. So this week we're on the Carnival Celebration, but many different cruises stop here. And typically with most itineraries on cruises, there's one or two ports where it's really worth it to do a tour, but St. Thomas is not the case. And that's because there's so much here that you can do on your own. The first stop that we're going to do today is going to be Paradise Point, which it gives you an amazing view of St. Thomas with all the jets. It's beautiful, so you have to see it. We totally recommend this. We love doing it. And actually, when we were crew members when we used to come here, it was five dollars each way. That's Prices right. have now increased to twenty four ninety five. dollars Inflation, man. Inflation. And I don't blame them because the view is kind of worth the price. That's right. We forgot to mention it's a gondola. <laughs> Now this is super cool for us to get to go back here because like we talked about in our Cozumel video a few weeks ago, we're actually getting the chance to go back to a few ports no longer as crew members um, and get to experience them at, as guests. What is even cooler is we have one of our first dates over here, well in these ports, Cozumel, St. Thomas, Puerto Rico, so it's amazing to come back now as guest mm -hmm. and with a different perspective. And some of our very first videos on this channel were, That's right. were here That's and right. it's you could go back in the archives and see our St. Thomas videos, pretty much the same itinerary but we know a lot more now and uh, we've gotten a lot better at filming. We're um, older and wiser. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Uh, very cool to be here and personally we're just reflecting a lot on how far we've come. So. That's right. Love you babe. Love you too. <laughs> Thomas wouldn't be a thing without getting to see the beach. Oh yeah. And we're very curious if the place that we used to visit is still a hidden gem. Yeah, because as crew members you get very good at finding the best beaches that don't have other cruise ship guests yes. because nothing kills the vibe more on your time off than running into somebody who saw you dancing at a deck party last night. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to check out this spot that we know of, see if things have changed and uh, enjoy a little bit. I think we deserve it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get to Emerald Beach, you have to go in taxi. And believe it or not, this one is a taxi. I know, it looks almost like a safari bus. <laughs> the gazelle. Uh, the driver says it was $9 each person, so it's gonna be a total of 18. And do you remember it was a short ride? I think it is a kind of short ride. From what I remember, it was like 10, 15 minutes, but we'll see if we make more stops. I remember we passed by a little airport. Do you remember? Yes. That's how we know we're in the right spot. <laughs> hey, and fun fact, actually behind you right now there's a supermarket. We uh -huh. used to shop there for fresh fruit. Because on, as a crew member, you didn't get too much good produce. Pueblo. <laughs> also over there, if you're going further, there's a Hooters. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and you can watch, well, you can watch football games over there. Because sometimes we couldn't watch it on the ship. I used to watch Champions League over there. <laughs> From the land of Hooters to the paradise of hidden beaches, I guess they've got it all here in St. Thomas. But we're leaving behind the scantily clad and heading to the sandy serene, so hold on tight as we enjoy this bumpy ride and let's dive into Emerald Beach.
Yes. We made it. Still here. And it's still super calm. And super beautiful. The colors, I don't know if the camera can capture, but it's beautiful. That's why it's called Emerald Beach. And now I'm remembering why we like this place is because the water is so calm. It's like bath water. So if you have kids, it's a super great place to bring them. And the, the sand is also extremely fine. So you don't have to worry too much about bringing water shoes. Last time, I don't know if we can put the clip of the video, we found an iguana and actually the iguana <laughs> went swimming. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, that was so fun. Now we're not sure what, how it works. I don't remember if like you just pick a seat on the beach, if you have to pay for it or whatever, but it doesn't matter because first things first, we need to eat something. We want to go to the restaurant here. That's right. So let's go. So the service at the restaurant was a little bit too slow for us. Uh, we decided to head over to the cafe on the property instead. Yeah, so we just got like two muffins and one coffee over there. It was like 12 bucks. Yeah. And also we figured out the prices of the camastos. Yes, not the ones on the property because we still haven't figured that out and they don't have them set up yet. But the ones next door with the rainbow umbrellas are two for 25. However, I think we're actually gonna skip out on it. Just set up our own towels on the beach and do it that way. That's what we used to do when we were crew. Good old days. Good old days. And by the way, Iced coffee here at this cafe was so good. Doesn't look like much in this bottle. <laughs> look how I'm holding it. <laughs> it's delicious. So we'll have this on the beach. Man, it is good to be back here, but I will not lie to you guys. This whole trip on the cruise, it's been very strange to go back as guests because although working on a cruise ship was super cool and that's how we met, it was some of the hardest times of our life. Like there are so, so many stories we could tell and so many reasons we could talk about why we left the ships. Uh, it was a very, very hard time. And I remember that, you know, we would go through these like 12 hour days where we were working nonstop and to come to a place like St. Thomas, this was the relief we needed to be able to get through the week. So I remember being here at this beach, just wishing we didn't have to go back. And uh, looking back, it's one of those cases where you're happy and sad at the same time. And I remember feeling that way at this beach a lot of the times because to my friends, it was like we we're living the dream. Like they would see photos of us in these beautiful, beautiful destinations. And it is one of the weirdest feelings to be in such a beautiful place but yet so sad and anxious and stressed and to be able to come back here and feel like the quality of our lives has significantly improved in the past few years it's crazy it's so good to be back and actually our next spot that we're going to be taking you guys was the place we would eat every single week that we were here. We love it. We can't wait to share it with you guys. And the good news is it's right off of the port. So let's head over there. So the name of the spot is Tap and Still. This is the best burger in the Caribbean. I will say it, it is so good. And they also have a local beer. They have their draft and they have the brewery over here. Yeah, it's pretty fun how you order your burgers. You actually fill out this little form, they kind of pick it out, you can circle all the things you want on your burger. Sometimes whenever we were so tired from the entire week, so in St. Thomas we didn't left the ship. I'm, I'm like, we left the ship only to get this. <laughs> only to get this burger. <laughs> and you would sneak it back on board for me if I didn't go out with them. <laughs> Sometimes you were working and for me, I just came over here and then bring back the burgers for us. Yeah, yeah, it is a freaking good burger. You guys are gonna see. Uh, so, and what's very convenient is that you can grab this right before coming on the ship because it's just right here. Okay. St. Thomas, well spent. This was the perfect day, short but good. Hey, and let us know down in the comments if you end up doing any of these things we did in our video. We love when you guys share that, but in the meantime, we've got a ship to go catch. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.